Hi, my name is Mac Roboface and it's very nice to be talking to you today. I have a circuit behind me on the breadboard on which I'm sitting which controls me. I receive an audio signal from a microphone on my master's iMac and that is picking up his voice and it is fed into the circuit on the board behind me. It goes through two capacitors and from there it is fed into an analog to digital converter on the PiCon Zero board which is mounted on the Raspberry Pi beside me. This feeds a signal into the Python program which is controlling me and there the program decides when to open my mouth and when to close it depending upon what is being fed in via the audio input. The brightness of my eyes and the other LEDs that make up my face are also controlled according to the frequency of the sounds being received. You don't just have to listen to my master's voice because when he gets tired from talking I can also be connected directly to the Raspberry Pi and a program like Sonic Pi can be used to feed me some music and I can sing along to that. Before we do that, let's just have a look around. If my master picks up the camera and moves so that you can see the circuit board behind me, you can see some of the components which make it up. There are two capacitors on the right which extract the audio signal which is fed in from the iMac at present. There is a rotary potentiometer uh, which is used to adjust the uh, rest signal when there is no sound being uh, fed in and in order to calibrate the circuit there is a yellow button which can be pushed. If we look over at the PiCon Zero board we can see that there are three sets of connections to it. The green and yellow wires are connected to the button input. The black, white and grey wires are connected to the analogue input and at the other end they are connected to the circuitry which is extracting the audio signal. And finally, the red and orange and brown wires are connected to the PiCon Zero output and that is fed in to myself and controls the NeoPixel LEDs which make up my face. So, let's change things around. I'm going to take a rest from talking just now my master has now switched off the audio feed and so there is nothing happening, although you can still hear me being picked up directly by the camera which is doing the recording. He's now disconnecting the audio feed from the iMac. You can see the cable here and it is going to be plugged into um, a socket here which is connected to the input of the Raspberry Pi you can see down there. It's actually a splitter lead and the other half of the lead is fed to an amplifier so that you can hear the audio that the Raspberry Pi is producing. If we look up at the screen uh, beside me you can see that we have here Sonic Pi running. It has a program called House of the Rising Sun which was coded uh, in August 2015 for Sonic Pi, which will be played shortly. And if we also have a look at a terminal window, which has now appeared, you can see streaming up that screen the numbers which represent the audio signal which is being fed to the um, a circuit. At the moment, they are fluctuating between about 5 and 10, and that is just a noise signal, but uh, it doesn't really cause much effect on my face at present. So the camera is going back down here and we are ready for a performance of House of the Rising Sun which is now about to take place as we run the Sonic Pi program. Here goes. <laughs>
Well, I hope you enjoyed listening to that as much as I enjoyed singing along. Let's now just switch the audio back again so that you can see my lips moving once more. There now, you can see what I'm saying again. Well, as I was saying, I hope you enjoyed listening to that as much as I enjoyed singing along. If you would like to see how I am made, then you can read all about me in an article at rbnrpi.wordpress.com. That's rbnrpi.wordpress.com. It's been very nice to meet you, but it's time now that I had a little rest, so my master is going to stop the programme which is making me work, and I can have a nice sleep. Goodbye.